Tuning the telescope for nascent galaxies and God who commissioned it, we find galaxies from the Dark Ages. While scientific research investigated the origins of our universe, the dominant explanation was the Big Bang Theory. Countless studies and the collaboration of thousands of scientists have confirmed this theory, providing important evidence of how the universe came to be. However, today's scientific landscape is clearly different from the past. Advances in technology are constantly bringing new theories and perspectives, challenging what we previously thought were indisputable truths tie in this evolving scientific environment, where new discoveries are changing our understanding of space. Neil deGrasse Tyson has become a prominent voice. Now, in a groundbreaking development, the James Webb Space Telescope, JWST, has made a revelation that casts doubt on the long-held Big Bang Theory. This discovery includes the identification of an astonishing 750 new galaxies, each challenging our previous expectations of what galaxies should be like. After all, the James Webb Space Telescope was designed and built to help us understand the origins of galaxies, so we shouldn't be surprised that it leaves us scratching our heads. Join us as we explore how new JWST images disprove the Big Bang Theory. With the discovery of 750 new galaxies, scientists presented the Big Bang Theory as the main explanation for the origin of our vast universe. According to this theory, the universe was created about 14 billion years ago by some mysterious cosmic event. This is the ultimate birth story of the universe. The surprising nature of the James Webb Space Telescope's own images have challenged scientists' understanding of the origin of the universe. The hypothesis that these images directly contradict is the Big Bang hypothesis, which most cosmological theorists have long accepted as indisputable truth. These galaxies appear too small, too smooth, too old, and too numerous to the eye of the Big Bang hypothesis. The small size of the observed galaxies is completely at odds with the expected behavior of an expanding universe. According to the hypothesis, as the universe expands, objects should appear larger as the distance increases. According to the Big Bang theory, at the beginning of the universe, all the building blocks of matter, energy and space were compressed into a very small and highly concentrated point. This point is called a singularity. Within the singularity, all the matter and energy of the universe existed in an extraordinarily compressed state. Extreme density means that enormous amounts of mass and energy have been concentrated in an infinitesimally small space. The temperature inside the singularity would exceed any temperature that can be observed or reproduced in our current understanding of the universe. The energy stored in that hot, dense point was the seed from which the entire universe would develop. The expansion marked the beginning of the universe as we know it. It was the origin from which everything in our cosmos came. After the primordial singularity, the universe began a journey of expansion and inflation. This process took place over about 13.7 billion years and formed the universe as we know it today. The expansion of the universe began with an extraordinarily rapid expansion known as cosmic inflation. During this phase, the universe expanded at an unimaginable rate, far exceeding the speed of light, as if the fabric of space stretched and stretched, taking everything in with it on its journey. Cosmic inflation played a huge role in shaping the large-scale structure of the universe. It smoothed out irregularities, homogenized the distribution of matter and energy, and laid the foundation for the subsequent formation of galaxies, stars, and other cosmic structures. As the universe continued to expand, the rate of expansion gradually slowed. But even after the initial period of cosmic inflation ended, the universe continued to expand at a measurable rate. This continuous expansion is called the expansion of the universe or the cosmic expansion. Scientists have observed the effects of this expansion through various observations, such as the redshift of light from distant galaxies. Redshift indicates that as the universe expands, light waves are stretched and shifted toward longer wavelengths, shifting them toward the red end of the spectrum. We'll get into the details of that later in the video. At first glance, JWST's images of new galaxies look absolutely stunning. In a good way, you can see hundreds of galaxies in one frame, and the sheer power of photos cannot be ignored. 
But this is how things appear to the eyes of the common man. For scientists, things are quite the opposite. These pictures are surprising to say the least. They don't match what scientists thought they were seeing based on their theories. In fact, they see many more galaxies than expected, and those galaxies are surprisingly different. They are smooth, smaller than imagined, and really old. All these surprises are causing some panic among scientists. One article even begins with the word panic in the title, so you know things are serious. Galaxies don't look like they should. The ages of the observed galaxies seem incredibly strange. Here, JWST observations reveal the presence of galaxies that appear to be unexpectedly old. This calls into question the expected timeline for the formation and evolution of galaxies in the Big Bang Theory. In addition, there is also the fact that the number of observed galaxies is much higher than it should be. The Big Bang hypothesis predicts the distribution and density of certain galaxies based on the expansion and evolution of the universe, but the JWST images show a huge number of galaxies, raising questions about the accuracy of the hypothesis predictions. There is also the fact that the smoothness of these galaxies is completely unexpected. The Big Bang theory suggests that there should be irregularities and variations in the structure of galaxies due to the dynamics of their formation and evolution. However, the JWST images show galaxies that appear unusually smooth and lack the expected complexity and coarseness that one would normally see under the Big Bang fusion theory. During the expansion, we basically had all the things that make up our universe compressed into an incredibly small volume. It was clear that matter could not survive in space like this, so something had to give to as the universe expanded and cooled, changes occurred, particles such as protons, neutrons, and electrons began to interact with light and energy in their environment. These interactions played a key role in shaping the creation of matter in the universe. In the first few minutes after the Big Bang, a process called nucleosynthesis took place. This process involved the creation of light elements such as hydrogen and helium. The extreme temperatures and energy of that phase allowed the fusion of protons and neutrons into the building blocks of those simple atoms. Hydrogen, the simplest and most abundant element in the universe, formed mostly during this early period. During this time, the second most common element, helium, also appeared. Those elements helped set the scene for the formation of stars, galaxies, and more complex elements that will come later in cosmic history. The synthesis of these elementary building blocks was an important milestone in the evolution of the universe. From a primordial sea of particles and energy, the early universe moved into a state where matter truly began to form. This process laid the foundation for the rich variety of matter and eventually the vast cosmic structures. Now, Big Bang theorists hope to observe the galaxies themselves, mixing and mingling in multiple collisions. But the images from JWST tell a different story. Instead of chaotic and nebulous galaxies, the images show mainly smooth disks and well-organized spiral shapes similar to the galaxies we see in the modern world. This unexpected finding challenges the notion that mergers are a normal process in galactic evolution, as it is clear that these new galaxies did not go through any of the difficulties you would normally expect if you followed the Big Bang Theory. If there are few or no mergers, small galaxies are unlikely to grow and grow hundreds of times over. This means that these galaxies were never small to begin with. In addition, the optical illusion predicted by the hypothesis of an expanding universe, where objects appear smaller with increasing distance due to expansion, is also absent. As astronomers carefully observed and mapped the cosmos, they discovered a striking pattern, clusters of galaxies and the general structure of the universe. Galaxies tend to group into large groups, clusters, and superclusters, forming complex networks that stretch across space. This observed large-scale structure is consistent with the predictions of the Big Bang Theory. According to the theory, the universe began in an incredibly dense and hot state and expanded and cooled over time. As the universe expanded, gravity played a key role in the distribution of matter and the formation of galaxies. The gravitational effects predicted by the Big Bang Theory are consistent with what we observe today. Gravity pulls matter together, causing galaxies to cluster in certain places and forming filamentary structures that connect them. 
These structures reveal the cosmic web-like pattern of the universe. The existence of these galaxy clusters and the interconnected web of matter supports the Big Bang Theory. The formation of galaxies and their distribution in the universe is compatible with the gravitational effects expected from the initial dense and expanding state predicted by the theory. If you look again at the sizes of galaxies discovered by the James Webb Space Telescope, you can really see how the images present a completely opposite reality to what we have always thought of as our reality. According to Big Bang theorists, these small galaxies grew through collisions and mergers into the larger galaxies we see today. To help you think about this hypothetical scenario, you can think of individual galaxies as collections of stars and dark matter held together by gravity.